Hello and welcome to Elevate Physio and Performance Online Library of Classes. Today's class is a connect and stretch class where we awaken the center of the body, the smaller, deeper structures of the body, and then elongate and stretch to the others. All you need for today's class is space and a mat, and I hope you enjoy. So to get started, we're gonna come all the way down on our mat. We're gonna take a lying down position, lying all the way down on the flat of your back, knees nicely bent, feet are flat, arms resting by your side, and just slowly starting to engage with your breath. Allow as you inhale for your belly to rise, your chest to rise. And then as you exhale, think about your chest bone softening down and into your rib cage and then your rib cage floating downwards towards your pelvis. We're gonna take another three deep breaths here, inhaling through the belly button and then up into the chest. And then as you exhale, soften through the rib cage, allow it to flow down towards the pelvis, tightening through the abdominals. And one more. Inhale through the, the tummy. Exhale through the rib cage. Allow it to soften. Now we're going to start moving through the pelvis, front of your pelvis, your pubic bone. As you inhale, I want you to draw it downwards towards your feet. Keep inhaling through the belly, elongating through the front of the body. And exhale. Pubic bone back towards your belly button. Tuck it up in towards your chest, exhale, inhale again, roll the pubic bone towards your uh, feet and then exhale pubic bone towards your belly button. We're going to go for three, nice awakening through the pelvis here, this is a great exercise for your lower spine, just allowing the segments to move, really generally just waking up through the center of the body using your breath the entire time. Two, moving at whatever pace suits you the best. Good, and then your last one. From here, we tuck the pubic bone towards the belly button. We're gonna try and keep it here, keeping the ribs nice and soft down in towards your tummy. Keeping pressure now through your feet, I want you to continue your pubic bone coming towards your chest bone, your tailbone and your sit bones. You're gonna to start to lift away from the mat. We come up to our bridge position, thigh bones elongate, knees come forwards towards our feet, allowing the ribcage to stay nice and soft. Breathing in at the top, exhale then slowly rolling down through the segments of the spine. So think about melting the segments down towards the mat, each individual segment at a time. Allowing the glute muscles to relax, finding your neutral position at the bottom and then repeat pubic bone back towards your belly button. Press through your heels, engage through the hamstrings and the glute muscles. And then exhale from the base of the neck, through the rib cage, down through your spine, through your lower back. Pelvis relaxes, glutes relax, finding neutral. Good, let's try for four here. Really just allowing each segment to move as much as you can on their own. And then exhale, lower. Well done. I really find this such a nice exercise generally for the spine because we don't really allow the segments to move on their own on a general day-to-day -day basis. So it's quite nice just to allow them to flow and move. You might feel that nice kind of fascial stretch all the way down the back of the system. Last time I want you to hold your bridge position. So we're going to start to elongate through the tops of the thighs. Continuing here, okay, we're just going to start to march on the spot now, pressure through your left heel, allow your right leg to raise to tabletop, slowly release through your right leg, and then pressure through your right heel to allow the left to lift. And whilst you're doing this, you're going to try and keep those pelvic bones nice and level, your rib cage nice and flat or soft, down in towards your tummy. You start to feel your glute muscles and your hamstrings really starting to fire up here. Mine are already beginning to scream at me. <laughs> it's always a good sign. 
Nice awakening through the back lines of the legs, awakening through the glute muscles, really important for the general kind of absorption of energy of our system. Really well done. Let's try for six. Again, taking this at your own pace. If six is too much, you just do how many ever you can. Four more. Well done. And three. Excellent. And two. Last one. From here, both feet flat, okay? Keeping that nice bridge position, you're just gonna give me a small, tiny pulse of the hips towards the ceiling. Eight and seven, six and five and four, three and two and one. Slowly release the spine. Excellent, bring your knees towards your chest. Just give yourself a nice, tiny little squeeze. Releasing through the back lines of the legs, glutes and hamstrings. That feels really good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a little bit of tension now through the center of the body. We all know that I love the core. <laughs> so from here, knees are bent, feet are flat. You're wanting to move from the chest, okay? So you're gonna try and soften that rib cage down and in towards your belly button. And as you do so, you tuck your chin down towards your neck and you reach your fingertips towards the backs of your heels, really moving through that rib cage area. Then you slowly release. If you want, you can move those hands up and over the top of the head. And then exhale, send the hands down. And as you do so, you lift through the top of the body. Inhale to lower reach up and over and then exhale again really allowing the base of the rib cage those bottom ribs just to float down in towards that belly button area that tummy area well done keep it going and lift and release and reach we're gonna try for six good and five, really starting to feel that upper abdominal area now, wakening up. And four. Well done, and reach. And three, I always find this such a nice exercise just to get the upper abdominal area awake. And then at least you can continue on with the rest of your abdominal sequence once you know the correct muscles are switched on. Last one, we're gonna lift and hold. Excellent, you're gonna give me a pulse of those arms for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing it all the way down, reach the arms up and over. Allow the rib cage to lift and flare. So we're trying to stretch now out through the, the top part of the abdominal section. Nice big deep breaths. And now from here, I want you to find your neutral alignment. Your hands are gonna go up towards the ceiling. Finding that pelvic neutral, pubic bone in line with your belly button and rib cage is nice and soft. We're gonna take that right leg to tabletop and then the left. And then from here, keeping those knees in that 90 degrees flexion or bent position, you're gonna to start to sink through your right heel, tapping towards the floor and then inhale. Exhale down, inhale to lift. And again, right side, and lift. Always when you start to move your legs down towards the floor, you don't want your lower back to start to lift away from the mat. So the control is coming from the center of the system. We're trying to engage through our abdominals and not hinge through our lower spine. So if you start to feel your lower back lifting or hinging away from the mat, you wanna reset your position and then start again. So, we're really starting to feel now that tension or tightness start to activate around the center through the lower end, I suppose, of our abdominal region. Good work. So this is a nice exercise to activate through that nice transverse abdominus muscle, that corseted muscle we have in the inner section of our abdominals, basically like in the shape of a corset that attaches everywhere, diaphragm, uh, T-spine, lower spine, pelvic floor, pubic bone, 
<laughs> you name it, it attaches to it. So that we have that sense of stability in the center of the body, allowing us then to kind of do whatever we really want to without knowing that we might harm or injure ourselves. We're gonna keep this going just for another four, making sure that we're nice and awake here. <laughs> and three, excellent, and two, really nice. We've got that last one. We're gonna do a double tap for me now. So instead of one leg going, we're gonna go double tap to the floor. This one's really gonna fire up. I'm already starting to shake. And six, and lift, and five, excellent. <laughs> And four, this is again where we want that lower back to stay down. So you're only gonna move the feet as far down as your lower back's gonna allow. We've got two more, well done. And we've got that last one. We're gonna lift those legs to tabletop. We're gonna pop the hands in towards the back of the head. And then from here, let's find our chest lift. So now we're here, chest is lifted. We're gonna lengthen the right leg and return. Lengthen through left and return. Keep the rib cage pulled down and in towards that abdominal space. Left, good, and right. Well done. Keeping it going. We're almost there. Six, and five, and four. Well done. Last three. We have two more, and then last one. And pop the hands to the knees, Lower head, neck and shoulders and give yourself a little squeeze. You can rock yourself just from side to side if you want. Fantastic. Okay, from here, we are just going to come and do a little bit of side lying work. So from here, we're gonna lie all the way down onto our left hand side. I'm gonna have to tuck this up. Now, so left hand side, lying all the way down so that your head is rested into the palm of your hand. You're gonna allow your pelvic bones or your hip bones to be stacked on top of each other. And we want a little bit of space between your waistline and the mat. So you're gonna try and lift that abdominal section so we're still active through that side of our obliques. Now from here, keeping the hips stacked, okay? You don't want the top hip to start to roll. Place your right hand in front and start to move with your right leg to lengthen hip, knee and ankle now in the same alignment. We're gonna to start to inhale, sweep it forwards. Dorsiflex through the feet, exhale, heel draws back. Inhale to sweep forwards and exhale to draw back. Now just from here, making sure that that hip bone is doing the work for you here. Your glute muscle is kicked on. Well done, exhale. And again, we're trying to focus on that movement coming from thigh bone inside and hip socket rather than your pelvis getting engaged here as well. Hence why we keep the pelvis stacked, one hip on top of the other, forwards and back. And another thing you need to make sure of is that your kneecap doesn't start to rotate downwards as you sweep that leg forwards. Otherwise, we're gonna use other muscles that we don't really want to be using right now anyway. You really want to get into that kind of glute med, glute min section of our hip. Those big stabilizer guys. Good, let's try for three more. My right hip now starting to really switch on. We'll have to wait and see what my left hip does. That's my weaker side. Two. Fantastic, last one. Okay, we're gonna sweep all the way back. We're gonna hold it here. I want you to point through the tips of the feet, okay? We're just gonna lift and lower. So small, tiny movements here. And lift and lower and lift. Good, and lower, really nice. And five, good, and four more. And three more, well done and two more. We've got that last one. Holding it here, let's draw some small circles for five, for four, and three, and two. Change direction, four, three, two, good.
good last one and you're going to plant the inside of that right foot down onto the mat we're going to try and come up now onto our left elbow we're going to get a little bit of work through those obliques on that left side hip so allowing elbow and um, shoulder to be in line with each other and then from here pressure through the inside of that right foot we're going to come up through the knee and the foot on that left and right hand side we're going to reach up and over the top of the head and then we're slowly allowing the hand to come down and the hip to release so we reach up and over the top pull the rib cage towards the center of the system and then slowly releasing all the way back and again reaching up and over and slowly down and really allowing that rib cage to stay intact channeling up towards kind of the center sternum area even as that hip lowers we're not going to release that oblique system that lateral system here well done slowly lowering we've got three more reach exhale and two more now on that last one let's see if we can lift and hold well done, from here now you're gonna try and allow that right leg to hover. You're gonna tap it all the way down. We're gonna hover and tap. Good, we're gonna hover, keep that left side rib cage lifted for five and four and three, well done. Last two and last one, release. Bring yourself all the way down. You're gonna lift yourself all the way up. We're gonna come over to the opposite side and we're gonna have a lie down here. I need to make sure I don't uh, lie down on my mic. It couldn't be good. Okay, let's bring ourselves all the way down onto this side. Again, head is hovered into the hands and those knees are nicely bent. Remember those hips are stacked on top of each other. And we have that little space for that waistline underneath the right hand side. We're going to start to lengthen through the left leg here and now sweep forward as you inhale again watching the alignment of the hip knee and ankle and sweep forwards inhale and exhale to release. Good inhale forwards exhale return good inhale forwards really nice exhale return watching the kneecap here, making sure we don't start to draw it down towards the floor. And we're utilizing those nice big muscles through the back side of that hip joint. Good, forwards and return. Kind of accessing whatever mobility your hip has to offer, I suppose, at this moment in time. Hopefully in time it will start to release a little bit more for you. Well done. Again, my left side is my weaker side. <laughs> so it is really starting to burn here at this moment in time. Let's try for five and release. And four, good, and return. And three. And two, fantastic. Last one. Now we're gonna bring ourselves all the way back to here, in line with that hip point, the toes for me, lift and lower. Ooh, the burn, and lower, well done, and lift, and lower, excellent, and lift, and lower. We've got five, we've got four, and three, last two, and last one, we hold it here, circles, five, four, three, two, change direction, four, three, two, and one, plant the inside of that left leg, let's come on up onto that side plank position, right elbow under shoulder, rib cage lifted up, we start to move through the inside of that left foot and right knee, reach up and over, find that nice deep stretch, and then exhale to release. Remember, rib cage stays nice and tight, hip releases. Inhale, lift. Exhale, to release. Well done, and again. Inhale. Always find these exercises so nice, just generally for the system. It's not like we get a lot of activity through our lateral bodies. 
on a general day to day basis. So it's always quite nice to give them a little bit of attention. <laughs> Let's go for four more. And three. Good, and two. Are we ready for our hover on our last one? We're gonna lift up and hold. Let's see what the left hip is gonna be able for on this side. We got a lift and a lower. We have six and five and four and three. Last two and one. Release it all the way down. We're gonna come now, do a little bit of work through our hips. So we're gonna find a nice high kneeling position. Fantastic. So let's start with left leg down, right leg's going to move out in front. We're going to start to push through the hip joint of our left hand side. Okay, so your right knee is going to come over your toes, but we're focusing here on that left hip. That lower back section, okay, is nice and tight. We're not over arching or over pushing through our rib cage here. We're keeping ourselves nicely together. We're gonna to start to inhale, lift and sweep through the arms. Now we can start a little bit further through extension and then exhale to fold forwards. Send both arms down, glue your chest bone to your thigh and then lengthen through your right leg. Nice hamstring stretch on that right hand side. And again, forwards through the left hip. We reach, inhale to lift, keep pushing that left hip forwards. Exhale to fold forwards and then push back through that right side. Ooh, nice hamstring stretch. <laughs> and again, forwards. Inhale to lift. Exhale to release. And release that right side. Let's come and do one more here. Right side push, left hip opens, inhale up. Exhale to fold. We're gonna hold our hamstring stretch, staying here. Breathing nice and deep. We're gonna try and push further through the back of that right knee joint so that we can elongate that hamstring a little further. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's send that right knee forwards, left hip to opens. Now from here, we're gonna to start to shimmy that right foot to the left hand side of your mat and try and allow that right shin bone to release. Now, if you find your mobility is a little restricted here, you can prop a pillow underneath the shin bone and the knee on the right hand side, or if you have a yoga block, also possible here, okay? Just kind of play around with whatever you're able for at the moment. You can also hold yourself in this position and just to sink further through the pubic bone to get that nice gluteal stretch. Those of you who are a little bit more mobile, it's actually been a while since I've done one of these, um, we're gonna try and sit through our pubic bone, really releasing through kind of that right lateral hip section. Now you really want your hips to be as square as possible here. So really pulling forwards through the left hip to align with the right. Now those of you who are a little bit more mobile, you can take a hinge through your belly button and try and flatten your chest towards your, your thigh or your calf muscle. Just breathing here for three, and two, and then that last one, we're gonna lift. I want you to draw that right heel now underneath your pubic bone. Your right hand just joins the inside of your right leg, and you're gonna sweep around for your left heel. And again, we pull towards our bum muscles, but we square the pelvis and the shoulders again. So we really want to align as much as possible so that we get that preferred stretch or deeper stretch when the muscles are actually aligned to their attachment point. Really trying to keep open through the shoulders and the chest. We're gonna hold for three, for two, and one left leg releases. Both hands come down, press through that left foot. Let's join the right leg back and find that nice downward dog position. Tailbone nice and high to the ceiling. Feel that nice deep stretch all the way down the back lines of the legs. Start to pedal for me. Right knee to bend, left heel pushes to the floor. And then change left knee to bend, right heel pushes to the floor. And again, pedaling as fast or as slow as you want. It really depends on how mobile your calf muscles are, how tight they're feeling. Well done. 
way more. It's a nice opener for the shoulders as well. Three and two. And that last one. And then from here, we're just gonna bend those knees. We're coming back into that nice high kneeling position, nice and tall. Left leg to come forwards this time. And we're pushing through that right hip. Inhale to reach. Exhale to fold forwards. And to elongate through that left hamstring. I think my left hamstring's a little bit tighter than my right. <laughs> And again, we come forwards through that left side, right hip to opens, inhale, lift the hands, exhale, then fold forwards, chest to thigh, and push back. I really love a good hamstring stretch though. <laughs> There's nothing like it, seriously. And again, left forwards, right opens, exhale to fold, and release. And last one. Exhale to fold and release. Staying here. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that left knee forwards. Now from here, we're gonna shimmy all the way over. Left knee to relax down. Both hips to stay nice and square if possible. That's the one. <laughs> Excellent. And again, those of you who are a little bit more mobile, you can take a hinge. Forwards you come with the belly button. Definitely tighter on this left hand side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sitting up nice and tall, let's draw that left heel all the way in, left hand to the inside, right hand behind, and we pull. Again, let's E-line, align, shoulders and hips. Really feeling that quad stretch. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, that right leg releases back, both hands to the front. Let's find that nice downward dog position. Nice deep stretch here. Fantastic. Well done. We're gonna bring those knees all the way down. We're gonna find a mermaid position. So like a Z sit position where your right heel is out in front and your left is behind you. If you can't sit like that, you can sit with both legs to one side. We will be switching to the opposite side. So this is our position for now. What you're gonna do is keep both sit bones heavy on the mat. We're gonna take those hands into a T position, right hand to reach, left hand to move up and over. Inhale to lift and exhale to the opposite side. So this is a nice side body stretch. Just moving through lateral system, allowing the pelvis to stay as glued to the floor as possible when your rib cage is moving away from your pelvic system. Okay, really elongating as much as you can. Good. Three. Again, a strong favorite of mine. Two, excellent. And then let's stay over on that right hand side. We're gonna start a little bit of rotational work as we draw the left shoulder down towards the mat. And then inhale to open and lift. And then exhale again, down we come. Inhale to open and lift. Exhale for three. Inhale to open for two. Inhale to open. Last one, let's try and hold that rotation for four, three, two, and one. Let's open up, bring yourselves all the way to sitting. 
and we're going to change the position now where our left comes in and our right comes behind again we heavily move through or sit through the pelvis as we move now with left arm first pulling through the ribs inhale lift exhale side bend and again inhale and exhale good again just moving as freely as you feel you need or you want again my left side is so tight compared to my right well done three more inhale up exhale pull good really moving those ribs away from pelvis last time now let's hold and move that right shoulder down inhale to open exhale rotate inhale open three inhale open two good work last one let's hold that rotation for five really pulling through shoulder three two and one opening all the way up lifting yourself back to center let's bring that right leg in to join the left sitting nice and tall take a big deep breath in reaching up to the sky exhale float the arms all the way down take a shrug of those shoulders and that is it for today i hope you enjoyed our connect and stretch class and we'll see you again here very soon on the mat